What's up everybody? Today we're going to talk about Poolsville, Maryland. Poolsville, Maryland is a town in Montgomery County with about 5,200 people. It's really different than its neighbors of Gaithersburg and Potomac. It's much more rural, there's a lot of farms, it's got a super small town feel to it. So today we're going to go through my top pros and cons of living in Poolsville, Maryland. So let's just dive right in. So around here, when people mention Poolsville, the number one thing that really comes to mind is Poolsville High School. In fact, Niche.com ranked Poolsville High School the number one public high school in the entire state of Maryland. And not only was it ranked the number one public high school in Maryland, but also number one for teachers, as well as number one for public high school college prep. And it's not just niche.com. You can go ahead and Google Poolsville High School and it will come up nationally ranked and will always fall either number one or number two in the state of Maryland. They have an amazing magnet program and have an average graduation rate of 99%. So my number one pro for living in Poolsville is that you have access to Poolsville High School. My next pro about living in Poolsville, Maryland, is that if you really want that small town feel, the Friday Night Lights football games, the walking along Main Street, Poolsville is a great choice. Even though you are in Montgomery County and you're 33 miles from Washington, D.C., it really feels like it's a faraway place. So if this is what you're looking for, but you still want to be close enough to the city, you really should look into living in Poolsville, Maryland. So my next reason is, is it's both a pro and a con. So let me just explain. The good news is you can still find affordable housing in Poolsville. You can find a single family home in the four to 600 range, a lot of them just right around 500,000. And that's affordable for Montgomery County. But you also, if you want more new construction or a bigger house, will see homes in Poolsville in the 800 up to 1.3 million. So it's a bit of a mix. You can still find affordable housing, but depending on your taste and if you are okay with an older house, you may also find Poolsville to be expensive. Just the way it is. And you would think being in such a small town, there'd be no good restaurants, but you would be wrong because in Poolsville, they have two of my favorites, the Watershed Cafe and Bassett's. Bassett's been around for 30 years and it's just got that great family feel to it. And the food is amazing. So if you're in Poolsville or around Poolsville, make sure you stop by Bassett's and have a great meal. My next great pro about living in Poolsville is that you have access to some amazing farms. Remember, Poolsville is surrounded by an agricultural reserve. So the farms here are super, super special. So I'm just gonna introduce you to a few of them. So if you're living in Poolsville or even if you're visiting, you can stop by and have these great experiences. The first one is called Farm at Home. Farm at Home is a family operated farm that offers the public a really cool pick your own experience in a friendly and relaxed setting. You can go and pick blueberries or they have a pumpkin patch. It's super cool and so much fun for the whole family. The next one's called Kingsbury Orchard, which is also family run, it dates back to 1907 and they're most well known for their peaches, although they have a lot of fruits, but their peaches are ridiculously amazing. And the next one is called Rockland's Farm Winery, which sits on 34 acres, also family run, and they also produce local Maryland wines as well as other mid-Atlantic grapes. And it's just a beautiful vista. You can do a wine tasting. They have a wine club, and this is all located in Poolsville. So I'm gonna put links below of all these different farms so even if you're just traveling around in Montgomery County, you should definitely stop by and support one of these local businesses. And you can't talk about Poolsville without mentioning Poolsville Day. This is a free event that Poolsville has been offering for 25 years that celebrates Poolsville and its whole town gets involved. Activities on Poolsville Day include a live parade with a marching band, a 5K charity race, 
plenty of things for kids to do. They have a moon bounce, pony rides, arts and crafts. You can't forget the local live music where all these different bands perform. It's just a blast. It's every year, usually in September, and it's free to everybody, but it really just celebrates this small town of Poolsville. The farms and wineries and Poolsville Day isn't enough for you. If you happen to like sunflowers, Poolsville is the place to be in the summer. McKee Besher's sunflower field is known all over for its sunflower fields. People travel from near and far to take all those beautiful pictures surrounded by these gorgeous sunflowers. And it's all right here in Poolsville. Just a couple more things and then I will get into some of the cons about living here. But I do want to mention the DC Polo Club because it is located right here in Poolsville, Maryland. So if you're into playing polo or you just like to watch polo or just basically hang out in this beautiful setting, have a drink, have some food, it's all right here at the DC Polo Club. And if you're into history, Poolsville's got its own historic medley district where they host scavenger hunts, they have a ghost tour, and you can go visit John Poole's house, which was built in 1793, or the Seneca Schoolhouse, originally built in 1865. Very, very cool to visit all these historic buildings. Finally, I just did want to mention that Poolsville also hosts the Bretton Woods Country Club, which has an affiliation with the World Bank. So it's a great, beautiful country club that has a lot of international members, and it's just a great addition to the Poolsville community. So now let's talk about some of the cons about living in Poolsville. I would say the number one complaint I hear from people that live there is that they don't have their own grocery store. It's kind of crazy. I think they used to have a small one, but it closed about 10 years ago and they just don't have their own local grocery store. So it's a bit of an inconvenience. So that's probably the number one complaint I hear. So the second con is probably pretty obvious and that is the commute. If you are working in DC or even Virginia, the commute is gonna be long. They used to have a ferry that would take you right over to Virginia, but that's closed down right now. And I've heard rumors that they're trying to get it back working. But for the moment here in 2021, it doesn't exist. So a lot of people in Poolsville either work in Frederick or they may work at the World Bank down in DC and your commute is just gonna be long. It's just one of the things you have to accept if you're gonna live out in Poolsville. So my next thing that's going on the con list, but really it's subjective, so it depends how you feel about it, is that being such a small town, everybody knows everybody and everybody tends to know everybody's business it's just one of the things that happens when you live in a small town and i know people that live there and that's one thing they do complain about is just everyone's gonna kind of know what's going on so this may not be a con for you if you're looking for a small town but it's one of the complaints I hear, so I thought I would definitely bring it up. And kind of piggybacking onto the commute con is that there's just not a lot of job opportunities right here in Poolsville. So most people will have to look in Frederick or DC or possibly Virginia if you want to look for some of those big job opportunities. There's just not a lot going on right here in Poolsville as far as big job opportunities. And finally, there's just not a big nightlife here in Poolsville, especially not like Rockville or Gaithersburg or Bethesda. It just doesn't have a lot to do. They have those restaurants that I mentioned and there's a lot of daytime activities, but if you're looking for a hop in place with a lot of nightlife, Poolsville is probably not the choice for you. So just to sum it up, if you're looking for a small town field that's got lots of local things to do, surrounded by beautiful farmland, sunflowers, polo fields, wineries, that's not that far from the city, 33 miles from DC, closer to Bethesda or Rockville, Poolsville is a great choice. Some of the cons that I mentioned, well, you heard them but that's really up to you. But if you're thinking about moving to Poolsville and you like our help, my team and I, we would love to help you. We'll make the transition as smooth as possible. So just call, email, text, morning, afternoon, night, we've got your back. And if you like this video, please subscribe and tell your friends. I do appreciate it. Thanks for watching, bye.